We all probably heard of the Boeing 737 MAX. A passenger aircraft manufactured by Boeing to compete with the Airbus A320 Neo. This competition started with Airbus. Airbus upgraded its old A320 family models with much more fuel-efficient engines. Thus, the new A320s are called A320 Neo, which stands for New Engine Option. The A320 family types are high enough to fit a much larger engine mounted under the wings. However, the Boeing 737NG, which means next generation, is too low to allow a bigger engine under the wing. Boeing decided to place the engine higher and in front of the wings. This effect of the job resulted to a high AOA angle of attack. This means that the map stalls very easily as it pitches up for takeoff. This is the reason why the Max was fitted with the MCAS Maneuvering Characteristics Argumentation System. This is a software system which takes control of the aircraft to reduce the AOA. The Max is not the only plane that relies on this system. The Boeing KC-46 Pegasus is a military tanker based on the passenger and cargo jet Boeing 767. This aircraft also relies on this system. Sadly, two Maxes crashed last year within six months. A lot of problems have been discovered, including the one discovered last week. In today's video, we will be discussing just that. Imagine giving a birthday card to your friend, and after sealing the envelope, you realize that you forgot the pen inside. Well, you will see why I told you this soon. Before we start, make sure to subscribe to our channel and make sure to check our brand new website. Links in the description box down below. Last week, foreign object debris, FOD, were discovered inside the Boeing 737 MAX fuel tanks. Some reports indicate that those inspections will be expanded for a better search. The latest reports as of Friday indicate that the inspections will be expanded. However, Reports on this issue do not provide any detail with regards to what an, an expanded inspection looks like. The materials left behind include tools, rags and boots covering. The Boeing CEO said, It's basic discipline. It's nothing more, nothing less than the production discipline. It's every employee, every associate looking after their work their area every moment in time to make sure the FOD never arises again. The Boeing company continues to inspect all of the 400 plus aircraft it has in storage. Boeing has informed the FAA that they have consistently found FOD inside the fuel tanks of their undelivered aircraft. In fact, FOD was found in two thirds of the aircraft. This indicates that the problem is quite widespread. This inspection process for the fuel tanks will take up to 3 days per aircraft. This is because the fuel tanks need to be drained and fuel vapors must evaporate before the tanks can be cleaned. This will be part of the main inspection process to get the aircraft flying again. Boeing said we are taking steps to make sure we eliminate FOD from any and all aircraft. This is unacceptable and won't be tolerated to any Boeing aircraft when it's delivered to the customer. Boeing recommended to its customers who have airplanes in storage for more than a year to inspect the fuel tanks for FOD as part of their procedures. Do you know that the MAX will soon be back? Nearly two weeks ago, 
the FAA revealed that the Boeing 737 MAX is nearly ready for its first round of test flights. Test flight is the next major milestone for Boeing to achieve. Boeing still expects the MAX to return mid this year. 737 MAX pilots will have to go through full simulator training as part of the process. So that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed today's video. And here is today's pre-flight checklist. Subscribe. Check. Click the bell. Check. Give us your opinion for today's video. Check. Check out our website. Check. Subscribe. Subscribe. Subscribe.